Hi, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome back to another MariaDB tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create a database using MariaDB. I plan to cover the following topics. How to create a new database, how to alter a database, how to drop a database, and we'll do a brief introduction to Heidi SQL which is the Maria database administration tool that comes with MariaDB. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. So before we get started, there's an error that I'd like to correct that was introduced when we installed the MariaDB server back in episode or video number one of this series. Uh, we selected UTF-8 as the default character set, and apparently with MySQL and MariaDB, this can introduce some nasty bugs because the UTF-8 that's used is not real UTF-8 in that it does not use the full four bytes for each character. It only uses three. So I encourage you, if you'd like further information on that, to just Google uh, MariaDB or MySQL uh, UTF-8 versus UTF-8 MB4. Uh, the UTF-8 MB4 character set is the one that we really want to use. So I'd like to correct that in the my.ini file for the MariaDB server. So if you could go to the data folder where the MariaDB server was installed on your computer and open up the my.ini file, you'll see the character set server equals UTF-8 line. What I'd like to do is to change that to UTF-8 MB4 and save that and then restart the server. So first we have to go to services, scroll down to M for Maria, right click, restart. It's running and now any new databases that we create the default character set will be UTF-8 MB4 which uses the full four bytes for each character. So let's open up a command window and then we'll run the MariaDB client program. We'll log in as root and password and hit enter. So we're successfully logged in. Now well, let's show again the databases using the show databases command. And we have the test database that was created for us by the lovely people from MariaDB. Simplest way to create a database is with the create database command. Create database and the name of the database. And we're going to just specify a name for the database without specifying any further parameters, and those parameters will then default. So I'm going to call the database tutorial. End the command, of course, with our semicolon and hit enter. And now show databases again. and hit enter and we have a new tutorial database. There's an information schema database that allows us to show the other parameters that we did not specify and that were defaulted. So let's take a look at that. We'll do a select star from information schema, which is the database. And the table is schemata. and hit enter and you'll see our tutorial database down right here. Our default character set is UTF-8 MB4 because it defaults if we don't specify it from the server value of UTF-8 MB4. And the collation default is UTF-8 MB4 general CI and UTF-8 MB4 general CI is the default collation or sort sequence for UTF-8 MB4. So we've seen 
the absolute bare minimum that we have to provide in order to create a database. Let's just drop the database that we just created, the tutorial database, and let's specify all of the parameters that we can in our database, in our create database command. So first we will drop the database. So command is drop database tutorial semicolon and hit enter. We'll verify by doing a show databases and tutorial no longer there. Create database tutorial is the name of the database. Character set equals UTF-8 MB4, collate equals UTF8 MB4 underscore general underscore CI for case insensitive. And we can also add a comment. Comment equals tutorial database semicolon and enter and now let's select star from information schema dot schemata semicolon and enter. So this time we have the tutorial database, default character set UTF-8 MB4, UTF-8 MB4 general CI for the default collation, and we also have a comment. This is the tutorial database. Now that we've created a database successfully, let's look at how we can alter the parameters in our database. And altering parameters in a database, as you might guess, is done with an alter database command. Alter database tutorial. Let's say we wanted to change the collation. So we would say collate equals UTF-8 MB4 underscore Unicode underscore CI and enter. Now we'll do the select from the information schema And you'll see that the default collation has been changed from UTF-8 MB4 general to UTF-8 MB4 Unicode. And it's the same thing if you wanted to change any of the other parameters to change the default character set or to change the schema comment. And next, uh, if you ever wanted to completely delete a database, we would use the drop database command. Now this completely obliterates the database so that it no longer exists. We can get rid of our tutorial database by entering the command drop database tutorial and hit enter and now show databases enter then the tutorial database no longer exists. So far, we have been entering all of our commands in the MariaDB client program. We were given, as part of our MariaDB installation, an admin tool called Heidi SQL. So what we're going to do now is to just have a quick introduction to that. So let's scroll down in Windows to our M's, MariaDB. We'll open that up and we'll run Heidi SQL. We'll choose our local database server and we'll see the same databases that we saw from 
the MariaDB client program. Now in here, if we wanted to create a database, we simply right click on the server, create new database. We'll call the database tutorial. And by specifying the collation as UTF-8 MB4 Unicode CI, the character set can be inferred as UTF-8 MB4. So now if we just click OK, we have a new database called Tutorial with the correct UTF-8 MB4 character set and the UTF-8 MB4 Unicode case insensitive collation. In this video tutorial, we learned how to create and alter a MariaDB database. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the thumbs up button to like the video. Also, please subscribe to this channel to view more MariaDB videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and until next time, stay safe and keep on coding.